Let us show two examples of Mimikat exploitation and QRadar detection of it when you get the Sysmon logs. Uh, these are uh, use cases uh, created by our friend Mutas. So I have in here the I downloaded the Mimikatz application and in fact if you actually Google Mimikatz and GitHub you'll get to this uh, public tool and you can actually understand how to use it and you can actually download it so it, this is actually uh, well known out there so if I run Mimikat, but before I actually do that, let me show you that I'm in Curator. I have no offenses here. Uh, and I'm going to uh, start by running. I have shown in previous videos how you can download files by clicking on a link uh, using PowerShell and, and, uh, and how you can escalate privileges. So I'm going to run this as an admin. Okay. And when I do that, notice that I get the Mimikatz console and right away Curator should have detected that Mimikatz has run. So let's let's start by looking at that uh, first uh, part of the offense. Okay, we haven't done anything with Mimikatz yet. We just invoked it and we got an offense. And if we actually open the offense, we see that we have 12 uh, events. Let's displace the rules that trigger this. So, well, first, the command shell started with system privilege, with Mimikatz actually launch. We have seen this one before. And this one is a new one specifically uh, created to detect uh, Mimikatz by using the import hash or the IMP hashes, which you can change the nature, uh, the, the, the name of the program, if you, if you don't want to call it Mimikatz, but by the type of DLLs that this program import there is a hash that uniquely identified that you can call it whatever you want but this is uh, Mimikatz and and that's what we are this rule is actually checking uh, so it first detected already that Mimikatz has invo been invoked let's actually do something with it so the first command is this uh, privilege double quote debug to get privileges for a debugging process and now we should, the command that uh, should give us all the passwords on this machine. And <laughs> here you are. Uh, this is the IE8Win7 machine, and here's the, the password of the machine. Pretty, pretty easy. So this has been used, this has been done using an actual file. And in fact, if we go back to Curator, we'll see that the previous offense that we had has actually been augmented with more elements. Before it was just the detection of Mimikatz running and now if we see the rules that had fired also notice that there are more events. We have 12 now we have two more events in here that had contributed were chain um, index uh, on the same rule. If we display the, the rules we should have the ones that we had before and also one that indicates that there has been a, an actual possible dump of uh, credential and sure there were some. You can actually d look at this in more details by looking at all these uh, 14 events. Now let's clear this offense and, and do another Mimikap attack now without a single file. We're going to use PowerShell to do the downloading, you know, no files uh, being uh, created. So now back to the Windows machine, we are going to run the, we're going to open a command prone again with uh, administrator privilege. Again, we've shown how you escalate privilege uh, and how Curator detects those things. Here's the command. Let me actually execute it. And we see that, you know, it's a PowerShell and we are downloading the tool and we are invoking it uh, to actually get it uh, to dump the credentials. And here they are. The same information with this uh, being executed via PowerShell without having to download, physically download the actual file. The PowerShell command did all this for us. And let's see what curator 
detected about it and sure enough it did not <laughs> uh, escape its uh, its detection capability let's actually open the actual uh, offense and displays the rules that contributed to this particular offense and we see that uh, as before the the credential dump has been detected we saw that rule before but we see that the curator also detects malicious usage of PowerShell as well as the downloading of an, an executable from PowerShell.